97% right? Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name is Chris Kalabukas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep, deep, deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking innovations. Wait a minute. We're not talking about innovation. Innovation is out the door. We're talking AI, startups, humanity, and the future. Not necessarily those and not necessarily in that order. It's show number 966. Interesting number, right? And today we're going to talk a little bit about something I saw. But first of all, let me don't forget to mention that this Friday, this Friday, folks, is the launch day for 10xu.us. That's right, folks, 10xu.us. Master your life with AI. That's the new tagline. I'm trying it out. Let's see. So on our sister publication, AIDaily.us, AIDaily.us, breaking news in AI curated by humans, there was a really interesting article about ER diagnoses. So what they did is they did a trial. They did a test. They did What they did is they rolled people into the ER and they had both doctors and chat GPT try to diagnose these patients as they came in. So here are patients that previously no one knows anything about these patients. So we have no history on the patient. We know nothing about the patient. All we know is a human has come in and presents with certain symptoms. So these people present with certain symptoms. And what happened is we applied a human doctor. So a human doctor went to the patient and looked at the patient and did their diagnosis of the patient. And then we had somebody take the symptoms from the patient and enter them into ChatGPT. And the results were surprising, astounding, some might say, astounding. In 86 or so percent of the cases, the doctors were able to diagnose the issue correctly. And you're probably wondering, well, ChatGPT couldn't have possibly done that well. I mean, that sounds like a pretty high number. I mean, you got human beings coming in. you got human beings trying to diagnose human beings. Obviously, human beings know how to diagnose human beings better than machines do. Well, that's where you'd be wrong, my friend. The ChatGPT diagnosticians, diagnostician, was actually right 97.7% of the time. It was right almost 10% more of the time. 10% more? Well, 10%. The, 10 the number was different. The number was 10% different. ChatGPT was, was almost 100% perfect, whereas doctors were 86% perfect. 15% versus point like 4%. So my, after I tell you this, would you say to yourself, hmm, maybe I prefer to get an AI diagnostician as opposed to a doctor to diagnose me because it's a lot more accurate. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, God, no, I would never do that. I would never have AI diagnose me because you're probably prejudiced against AI. I can totally understand that. There's plenty of people who are prejudiced against AI. They think it's some kind of machine. And the problem is, is that, and this is something I've tried to dissuade people of, for shows and shows and shows is that AI is not a machine, okay? AI is us. It's things that other human beings have already done. It's pushed into this large language model. This knowledge of many, many human beings is pushed into this large language model. And then the computer basically looks at the incoming request and attempts to match it against what it's seeing in the large language model. So instead of, because if you think about it this way, think of it this way, let's compare apples to apples. So let's say you had a human doctor. So you have a human doctor, a human patient, and the human doctor diagnoses the human patient. The human doctor only has as much in their head as that human doctor does. I mean, may, he or she may have read papers. They have had a lot of history. They have experience. They have skills. But they only have what's in their head. So imagine a chat version of ChatGPT that own, has only pulled information out of one doctor's head and is using the information from just that one doctor's head 
to make the diagnosis. You probably think to yourself, why would I do that? ChatGPT would be, you'd be hobbling ChatGPT by giving it only one doctor's memories to pull from. And that's where the power of AI lies. The power of AI lies in the fact that it's multiple hundreds, if not thousands of doctors who have looked into this and made that diagnosis. ChatGPT is not relying on a single doctor's experience. It's relying on hundreds, if not thousands of doctors' experiences. Now, if I tell you this, would you be more likely to want ChatGPT to diagnose you than a human doctor? I don't know about you, but I would. I would much rather have an army of doctors trying to diagnose me in that single instant than a single doctor with a certain amount of limited intelligence. Now, some of you might say, especially if you're a doctor, that's BS. That's BS. Nothing can, ex can, can compare to what human beings can do. Yes, I agree with that. I agree that human beings definitely need to be in the mix. But there's nothing that's stopping us from using ChatGPT to get additional diagnostics in addition to what the human diagnostician is looking at. And the human diagnostician, the human doctor has to be looking, has to look at the input from ChatGPT and go, that's possible. We need to use, when you're trying to diagnose a problem, you need to use every single tool. And every doctor should have an open enough mind to say, I'm going to use my head, I'm going to use other doctors' heads, and I'm going to use ChatGPT to try and figure out what's wrong with this patient. Because isn't that the most important thing? F trying to figure out, trying to diagnose the issue, whether or not a human doctor does it, or ChatGPT does it, or an army of doctors does it. Let's make sure that what happens is that the diagnosis is as close to correct as possible. And if you ask me, if a human doctor is not present, I'd be okay with an AI doctor diagnosing me because I'd have more trust in a diagnosis from an AI doctor than a human doctor at this point in time. I'm not saying that the human diagnosis, the human combined with an AI diagnosis is the absolute best. So don't go for one or the other. I'm saying we should do one and the other. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future. Oh.